The project that I am showing you today is a glue lamb beam that has been built in place in an existing structure. As it happens, this structure is a two-story garage. This is an ideal technique for any situation where you need to add a large, heavy beam to an existing structure. For comparison, let me show you an existing beam in the structure. This beam, which spans almost exactly 20 feet, is part of the original construction, and it is a single piece uh, wood beam, six by six, spanning 20 feet, and it is accessible and visible from the downstairs unit of a two-story garage. There are cars, the weight of two cars, parked above us. So this beam is required, including this center post that supports it, which you see here. For the purpose of enhancing the strength of this structure, I have added a second beam. However, because of the confined space that we have to work in, what I decided to do was to build a glue lamb beam in place in the existing structure. The reason I'm making this video is to share this idea with anybody who might need to add a beam in a confined space where you don't have a means of, of bringing a one-piece beam into a structure. So that might be the case if you have, for instance, termite damage underneath uh, in the crawl space of an existing house, for instance. Uh, so this is an ideal technique for that. The way that this was built was by adding, as it happens, four layers of two by six beams. These beams, of course, are not the full length of the span, and so you will see joints such as this one occurring in the beam. We started by attaching the top layer, the top layer beam, full length. This was glued and screwed to the existing floor joists, which you see here. After that was glued into place, we then used that as a guide to attach the subsequent laminated beams. You will see that with each subsequent layer, we have added joints and the joints don't line up. This is key. This gives us the ability to uh, spread those joints across the entire beam, thus making the beam behave as though it were a single piece beam. So between each layer, we glued the beams together. We glued the beams together using this type of glue. It's a one gallon jug of tight bond premium wood glue. You can buy this at Home Depot or similar products and at all of the uh, main hardware stores. And this glue was spread on the beam using a drywall taping knife. Uh, basically any large putty knife will do. This is about eight inches long. You simply pour the, the glue out on the beam and then you spread it around like this to make a full spread of glue across the entire thickness of the beam. The glue is going to give you the strength. You do not want to just place some strands of glue and then spread that out by gluing the beams together and hoping it spreads. You actually want to spread it so that you have full contact between each layer as you're adding the layers. As each layer was added, we use these C-clamps to press the, layer, the layers together. These C-clamps are spaced at about 8 inch intervals. And as we attach them, we use screws. In this case, I use 2.5 inch screws uh, comparable to these. They're standard construction screws. We use those screws to attach the beam, uh, these, the laminated segments together. And as each layer was added, we removed the clamps, uh, allowing them to dry uh, before removing the clamps, dry for about one day. And uh, as each layer was added, we simply screwed each successive layer and, of course, glued also each successive layer to the layer before it. To finish this project off, we put in some, uh, we put in some uh, vertical columns. You'll see those on the side, 
Those vertical columns simply bear the vertical weight. And when this project is finished, there will be a vertical column added to the center, just as is the case with the existing uh, beam. So, as I mentioned, this is an ideal technique for adding a beam into a confined space where you don't have the ability to bring a one-piece beam into place uh, simply because of the constraints of the existing structure. Again, ideal for any type of repair situation or for building up what had previously been an inadequate structure.